Nowadays we can book taxi through mobile apps, right? Assume you booked a taxi through an app. It says for the first kilometer the fare will be 30 rupees and after that each kilometer it will be charged rupees 10. That is 10 rupees per kilometer. Let us say you want to find out how much money you will have to pay if you go for 11 kilometers using this taxi. Let us analyze this problem. You have to pay rupees 30 for the first kilometer, then 10 rupees per kilometer. 2 kilometers, the total fare would be 30 plus 10, which is equal to 40 rupees. After 3 kilometers, the total fare will be 40 plus 10, which is equal to 50 rupees, and so on. You must have noticed the pattern in the list. We get the next value of the fare by adding 10 rupees to the previous value of the fare. Means the fare of a given kilometer is obtained by adding a fixed number that is 10 rupees in this case to the fare of the preceding kilometer. Such list of numbers is called an arithmetic progression. Each number that is the fare in this case is called a term. In an arithmetic progression a fixed value is added to get the next term. That fixed value, that is 10 rupees in this example, is the common difference between the successive terms. And the first term has a fixed value, that is 30 rupees in this example. This way, in an arithmetic progression, we can add the common difference value to the previous term to find the next term. So, first term equal to 30 rupees. Second term will be equal to 30 plus 10 equal to 40 rupees. Third term will be 40 plus 10 which is 50 rupees. Fourth term will be 50 plus 10 which is 60 rupees and so on. Let us write it in a generic way. Say the first term of an arithmetic progression is represented as A1 and the common difference is represented as D. So the second term would be a1 plus d, you add common difference d to the previous term. So a1 plus d will be the second term. The third term will be adding d to the second term that is a1 plus d plus d that is equal to a1 plus 2d or we can say a1 plus 3 minus 1d, 2 can be written as 3 minus 1. So third term is a1 plus 3 minus 1d, fourth term we can again add d to the third term which is a1 plus 2d plus d which is equal to a1 plus 3d. 3 can be represented as 4 minus 1d so we can say a1 plus 4 minus 1d. This way if we can keep on doing we can say the nth term is a1 plus n minus 1d. What is its use? Let us say we want to find the total fare of the journey after 11 kilometers that is the value of 11th term of this arithmetic progression. If we put 11 in place of n, the common difference is 10 rupees as the terms increase by 10 and the first term a1 is equal to 30 rupees. So the nth term formula is nth term is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 d. So n is equal to 11 place it by 11 so it and a1 is 30 and d is 10 it will become 30 plus 11 minus 1 times 10 which is 30 plus 10 into 10 which is equal to 30 plus 100 which is equal to 130 so the fare will be rupees 130 for 11 kilometers that is 11th term value we find this kind of pattern all the time like rajat found a job for rupees 10000 salary Say his salary will increase by rupees 1500 every year. So after one year, the new salary will be 10,000 plus 1500, which is equal to 11,500 rupees. S second year, after two years, the salary will be 11,500 plus 1500 is equal to 13,000 rupees. After three years, the salary will be 13,000, the previous value plus 1500, which is equal to 14,500 rupees and so on. So we add the fixed value rupees 1500 to the previous year's salary to find the next year's salary. 
So the common difference D is equal to 1500 rupees here and starting value A1 is equal to 10,000 rupees. That's all for today. Bye-bye.